Hello YouTube, my name is Nicholas and I'm a happy teacher. And today, a special video, we are in my study and I'm going to show you how to customize your Gradecam forms and more specifically, your rubric with capture area Gradecam forms. Let's get into it. So here we are on the Gradecam website. I assume that you already know how to do a multiple choice assignment on this with rubrics and captured areas. So just I click and you have to choose the type rubric with capture area and that's it. Now I want to download the form so I click on the forms button. Here it is. As you can see it has three pages and that's too much. I don't want that. So I choose the size of 60%. And now I've got all my questions on one page and this is what I want. So I generate, download PNG and here it is. So right click and I download the picture. Now, let's go to my word processor system. So I choose the picture I put it there, that's good. I don't want the title here, so I double click on the picture and this, all right, that's it. I want the picture to be perfectly centered, so position here, it's centered. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of blank space all around. I don't want that. So I know that for this particular form, I must choose 18 centimeters wide. That's good. Now, what about the text? The text must be above the picture. So I choose here and the picture must be behind the text. Derrière le texte en français. Yes, my software is in French, obviously, but if you look at the, the icons, I'm sure that you will figure out. So behind the text. And that's it. Now I can type whatever questions I want. All right, so for questions or for guidelines, whatever you choose to do, and now I can add some pictures on this, how to do so. So I insert pictures from a folder. This one is interesting. So here it is. It's the scientific badge because I use open badges. This represents the scientific skills as we're doing a scientific lab. It's too big. So I know that five centimeters is enough. And this time, this picture must be above the text, devant the text. Now I can move it wherever I want here. And you can add some pictures in the text areas too. You can do anything quite easily and you have no problems at all with scanning this type of document. Well, I guess that's it. As you can see, it's quite easy. I know that it's all in French, but the menus are quite the same, or I guess that you can find yourself what is the translation. Now, um, if you have any questions about GreatCam or about what I've just showed you, or anything really GreatCam related, feel free to answer this, to answer. Feel free to ask these questions down in the description box. No, down in the comments. Feel free to ask your questions and I will answer them. They keep improving their systems. So good job, guys. I made you other videos like this about some cheating softwares, some websites or softwares that can make your teacher life easier. If you're interested in that, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions, really, I mean it. And see you next time for more French teaching fun. A bientôt. Go teachers.
answer this to answer. Feel free to ask these questions down in the description box. Now, 